Okay, so here is the piece of junk mail I got that inspired this project. It's from a restaurant and um, it's just a basic uh, fold out sort of thing. Um, now obviously you don't have to wait for you know for something like this to arrive in the mail. <laughs> you can just use some cardstock or um, that type of thing to make your own and so I took some measurements um, whoops um, this front cover uh, this is going to be the cover it's going to be like this and this is a hundred or uh, fourteen point seven centimeters wide which is about five and three quarters inches and it's uh, 22.1 centimeters tall, which is about eight and three quarter inches. So this and this middle piece are the exact same measurements. It's this little fold-in piece that's just slightly narrower. Um, obviously, it's the same height. Um, but in terms of width, it is um, five and five eighths inches, which is fourteen point four centimeters. Yeah, so so that's what I'm starting with. So my first step was to um, sort of, and I don't normally do this. Normally, I just play and I see what happens. But for this, I I sort of thought about it for a while, and then I did a little sketch to figure out how I want to lay this all out. So this will be the cover and then we'll open here and here and this is going to be uh, a notepad. This will have a signature with uh, with pages sewn in um, and then on here on the inside flap I think I'll have some sort of envelope or pocket or something like that. Um, so that is the plan. Now, uh, the first thing I wanted to do was figure out what um, papers I wanted to use, what was the, sort of the feel that I was going to go for. So I have um, a rather large, I think this is about 11 by 17, coffee stain paper. So that's going to go on the inside, that'll be like the lining. And then I found this in my stash, and I think I, um, when my sister was... Um, de-stashing all of her paper, um, I took it from her. <laughs> um, so she might, if she's watching, she might uh, recognize this. So I think this is going to go on the outside. I think it's really pretty. It's beautiful blue and ivory. And that will wrap around to the back. And then this will go, this will be on the inside so when you open it up it's a very similar pattern but just a different color and then this will be on the inside. So the first thing I'm going to do is wrap the outside and um, and then put that piece on here. So I'm going to do that and then I will be right back. Okay so I thought I should mention um, first of all this paper that I'm using is uh, it's quite lightweight. It's not a, a thick cardstock, um, and I wanted to use something a little more lightweight because I knew I was going to wrap around, and so I wanted something that um, wouldn't break when it creases. Um, and uh, to put on this paper, I just used um, Mod Podge uh, for two reasons. Um, number one, I like a wet glue when you're working on a big surface like this because it gives you some time to adjust if you need to. And secondly, um, I just bought a brand new big bottle of Mod Podge, <laughs> so I just needed an excuse to open it up and start using it. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is the beginning phases, and I uh, also inked around all of the edges just to get that little bit of a distressed, um, aged look. And uh, the inside, it, you can see through a little bit, and it's a little creased and that kind of thing. I don't care, uh, because this is all going to be covered, and um, it's supposed to look old and weathered, and, and it's not supposed to look perfect, so I'm totally okay with that. 
So my, uh, I think what I'm going to do next is um, add my little notepad. So um, I've got a great notepad that is the perfect, it just happens to be the perfect size. But what I want to do is, um, I think I want to put some crochet lace on it, but I don't want to be able to see this green underneath. So I'm going to wrap it first with this um, blue paper that matches the cover, and then I'm going to cover that with some lace. And now if I had a narrow lace in the ivory, I would just use that, but I've only got the big wide one, so um, I guess I'm going to make do with this. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to come back. Okay, change of plan, I think. <laughs> um, I think I like it just with the paper. Sorry, the sunlight's coming through um, the window right now, so I'm getting some weird shadows here, but um, I think I like the paper just, or the pad just wrapped in just the paper. Um, I think it'll look nice. And I was going to put it on this third side and have it come in, but obviously that doesn't make much sense, so <laughs> it just it doesn't fit right. So I'm going to put it on this inside cover, and this is where this between the second and third panel is where I'll sew in my signature, because then that can close, and then this will close over top of it, and it just fits better. Um, and now you're probably wondering what the heck this is all about, this red strip here, and that's still the um, the the background of the uh, junk mail um, because my paper wasn't quite long enough so this is uh, just over 17 inches long I guess um, but that's okay because uh, I have a couple of options here and I want to I haven't decided yet how what kind of closure I'm going to do um, so what I was thinking was maybe just covering that once I figure out my closure because I might need to glue something down there and then this would cover it and then that would bring the cover right around to the inside and for my closure I'm considering either I've got some hemp string and I was just going to sort of do a wrap around thing maybe because that looks nice but I just found some narrow lace that I just said I didn't have. <laughs> and I just think that looks really gorgeous with the, um, the blue and the ivory there. So I might switch to this and uh, I don't know yet what that means and how I'm going to do that. So this is why I don't normally craft on camera because um, I really just make things up as I go along. I don't if I do plan things out, I tend not to follow my plan very closely. <laughs> so, anyways, um, so what do I need to do next? Uh, I'm going to still think about this piece here. And uh, I will attach this. I'm going to use some um, really strong liquid adhesive. Let me just see here. Yeah, I just ran out the other day. Oh, here it is. Um, I normally get this from uh, Dollar Tree. It's called Premium Craft Glue um, by Craft Medley. It's just a clear liquid glue, and I, I like it because it's really strong. Um, and they always have it there, but for some crazy reason, I went there last weekend, and they were all out. So I hope they get another batch in and I can stock up on that. Um, and when I do, I'm just going to put that all over the back and attach that to that. So in the meantime, what I can do is figure out what I'm going to do on my inside cover. And my initial plan was a sort of um, um, like a credit card pocket type thing because I have a whole bunch of... Um, 
other junk mail that I've gotten that are those like fake credit cards made out of cardstock and I'm going to cover those and they'll go in little pockets and um, yeah so I think I'm going to use my silhouette machine and try to design something really quickly here my silhouette machine doesn't always do exactly what I want it to do sometimes it has a mind of its own and it just cuts completely different things than what I ask it to so <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work or not but um, I'm going to go try I'm going to go look and see what designs I have in my library and see what I can come up with okay so I just did a little test on my silhouette machine I found a um, sort of a frame or an image like an outline and then made some Oh, the sunlight's really coming through, but there you go. And then I made like some sort of oblong slits in it. Um, and it worked. I'm surprised. I should mention, I mean, silhouette machines are wonderful. Mine is just a really old machine, and it doesn't always talk with the latest updates. And I haven't updated it for a while because of that. So uh, I have a Silhouette SD which I got on the shopping channel years and years ago. In fact, I think there's a video on my YouTube when I did my unboxing, and so you can see just how long ago that was. And uh, I got an incredible deal on it, because it was a big bundle. Um, and I had been waiting and waiting for the 12 inch wide one to come out and it wasn't coming, wasn't coming, so I finally bought that one. And then of course six months later they came out with the 12 inch wide one, And um, but I have stuck with my old one because I, um, you know, I didn't want to uh, replace it so quickly. Um, so that's why I have some trouble with my silhouette machine. So <laughs> it's not that silhouette is bad. Um, so this is going, I'm going to cut this again using this same background paper. And um, here's my little stash full of junk mail that I get and keep because I can't throw anything out anymore. So, um, so these are the kinds of things that um, you know, that you get that uh, you can use in your junk journals. So I got um, Capital One just loves me for some crazy reason. Um, and they keep sending me applications that I don't fill. I just use their cards for tags and things. Um, they're a nice thick cardstock so I'm gonna use those and so they'll fit right inside each one of these slots and it'll kind of look like that um, so I'm going to work on that and um, then I'm going to come back okie dokie so my silhouette machine um, ate up the edges a little bit, but uh, I tried to um, clean them up with some scissors and of course inking is wonderful because <laughs> it hides all kinds of mistakes. So I think I can still get away with using this and so it's going to go right on top so it'll be um, same pattern on pattern. And I covered my fake credit cards and so um, we've got one side with some images and this one has some uh, lined paper this is a um, recipe card and everything's coffee stained and then the other side this is some book pages and then this is some um, uh, graph paper so these will go in these little slots and I'll, what I'll do is glue all the way around and then I'll glue like sort of midway so that it will stop it from sliding all the way to the bottom of course. So it'll look, when I'm done, will look something like that. And then this will be over here. So it's coming along and um, just have to do my envelope or pocket over here and my signatures and figure out what the heck I'm doing with my closure. So I think that's it for today though, but you can see it's starting to take shape and uh, hopefully I'll get clearer on what I'm doing. <laughs>
I think I might even, hmm, do I need to round those corners? I'm not sure. We'll see. But uh, I'm going to hit pause and then I will, uh, it's date night tonight so I need to go get ready. And um, uh, next time I come back we will work on, this will be in place. And I'll work on that uh, envelope or pocket or whatever the heck I'm doing over there. Okay? Uh, I will be back. Okay, I'm back. It's been a few days and I'm slightly clearer on what I'm doing with this folio project. Um, so, first up, uh, let's see here. I think, so there's been a little change in the plan here. <laughs> So originally, I put together a few uh, pages to make um, a signature. Um, I, I'm not sure if this is exactly what I'm going to use, but just to give me an idea, um, I had photocopied a bunch of my coffee stained papers and um, double sided them. And um, when I cut off that little tiny edge, that my printer won't go edge to edge, so I get like a little, I don't know, like a less than maybe an eighth of an inch all the way around so I cut that off and they just happen to be when I fold them in half pretty much exactly the right size so that's wonderful I don't have to do a bunch of trimming um, so originally if you recall I was going to put my signature on this this uh, right hand hinge so that when you opened it it was here but now uh, and my, and I think in my pocket was going to go underneath there. But now what I'm thinking is, I think I'm going to put them on the first hinge, because if I want to write on this, <laughs> um, when it op when it's opened, it's on the paper pad, so that's nice and flat. And I think what I'm going to do is put my pocket underneath, and that'll be relatively flat because I found in my stash this little package of floral sticky notes that's really pretty. Um, let's see, make sure that there's nothing on there that you shouldn't see, but there's some notes on there. Um, so what I think I'll do is um, take a few of these, take a bunch off, and maybe put them on my third side, third panel so that I have some really pretty sticky notes to use with throughout my folio. So now that's the plan. We'll see if it stays that way. Um, back to the closure. I finally figured out I just covered up that red bit and um, I added that narrow crochet lace. So this is uh, the matching Actually, this is slightly different. This is part of the same paper pack, but it's um, tone on tone, all blue. So if you remember, and I'm sure you do, because it's not as long for you as it has been for me, but this is ivory and blue, and then the other is an ivory with just a faint gray pattern on it. So, so that covers that inside, and... This will, once it's all done, this will wrap around. And I also found in my stash a little package of wooden butterflies. So I picked the two most ornate, or the one most ornate, and I got two of them. And I will glue them so they're like sort of like a toggle on the lace to hold it in place when it's folded under. So that's going to be glued in place. And Dollar Tree still didn't have the craft glue I like, so I went to Dollarama and I found this. And I think that'll work just as well. Um, okay, so... What I will do with you here now is this pocket that's been causing me so much doubt. Um, so I just cut a piece of paper uh, approximately the size that I wanted. I didn't even measure. Um, I scored it a quarter inch on three sides. So give it a little fold here. 
and then I'm going to cut in so that it folds nicely. So I'll just cut my corners. I, w I used to watch a lot of, uh, I think the channel was Poodle's Paper Craft on, here on YouTube. And um, that's where I learned to do my corners properly. So you cut the square and then you cut a little angle on each. Just take a smidge out and that helps it to fold back nicely. And another little one here. Did I do? Yeah, I did do a little one up here. I don't know if I needed to do that. Get that out of the way. And I'll take my. Um, this is a one inch circle punch, and I'll just kind of eyeball it and make. Uh, oh, I can't eyeball it. That's going to bug me if I get it off center. So I'll just sort of fold it gently in the middle so that I've got it around the right area. There we go. That should work. Well, my card for my camera ran out as usual. So while my, I was uh, downloading the videos that I've taken so far, um, I also took the opportunity to do a few steps here. So, uh, first of all, I will say this glue is definitely not as good as this glue. Um, I I don't really like this at all, actually. So <laughs> I'm going to have to keep checking back at Dollar Tree to see if I can get this, or um, shell out for some Fabri-Tac, which uh, I don't really see happening, but. <laughs> We'll see. Um, so I glued down my pad here. Um, I inked up that um, envelope we were cutting out and I glued down the three edges. And just of course remember when you're putting something like this in to give, make sure there's a little give in there. Don't glue it right flat um, otherwise you won't be able to put anything in it. And then I also uh, took a few of those little post-it notes and um, and just use some, oh and I should say I use like a snail tape sort of stuff for this and then same on this. I just on the last one across the top I used a little snail glue and um, put it down. And then we've also got our cards on this side and then it all folds up. And then I glued my butterflies, which are not staying together. I will have to, I'm going to use some uh, clothes pins to keep it together for a little bit longer. And hopefully I'll get some better glue and I will get that together. But it's getting there. It's pretty much almost done, actually. Um... Let's see here. So what I need to do is uh, sew in the signature, or you could do it like a um, uh, what do you call it? The TN um, traveler's notebook. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, you could do like a traveler's notebook and just uh, put in some elastic thread or something like that, and scoot this under, but um, I'm not crazy about that idea. I think I'm actually going to sew mine in, in a, just a very simple three stitch pattern. Um, but I want to round the corners on this and my corner, my Martha Stewart corner rounder um, is not working. It. <laughs> I think that this cardstock was just a little bit too heavy for it, which uh, you know, it says a lot about the quality of this thing. So I need to get a new corner rounder, or I do have a little corner rounder that ha it's not a rounder, it has like a little, uh, like a doily edge. So I'll probably end up just using that and I'll do each page and then I'll figure out how I'm going to um, decorate it. Because I think I, w I want to do a little bit of decorating, not a lot, because I want to be able to. Um, really use these pages for writing on 
Although I do have the notepad here for writing as well, so this can be a little bit more decorative. Um, yeah, but so I'm going to do those things off camera because because um, I don't really know what I'm going to do. So I'm not going to bore you with me trying to figure that out along the way. But I will um, once it's all together. I will fade back in and show you the finished project which I'm pretty happy with so far considering this was just uh, a few pieces of junk mail and I think I've turned it into something quite useful actually so I will be back okay so I think um, I think I'm done I don't know <laughs> are you ever done um, so anyways here is my folio project made from junk mail so we've got our um, little butterfly toggle on our lace closure that just wraps around and we open it up we've got a notepad some cute little cards for I don't know what journaling or reminders or uh, oh, you know what? Maybe I could put like birthdays on there or something like that that never changes and I always need it to be reminded of. And you open it up and we've got the signature here with blank um, faux coffee stain because they were photocopied. Um, and a pocket underneath there. And all of the sticky notes there. I forgot I was going to do a matching pen but um, I think for now this is pretty I'm pretty happy with it. So with that signature I'll bring it up here so you can see um, I ended up using a little punch on the two corners. Where is it? There we go. And I kept it pretty minimalist. I just did a little bit of stamping and um, these are the two stamp sets I used. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, this is a Tim Holtz stamp set. Um, I don't know, is that the name? Visual Artistry? I don't know. Um, and then this uh, Inkadoo, I think this might be. Yeah. Um, and this has uh, just some pretty wheat and a butterfly and a little and a flower and things like that. So, um, so that's sort of throughout. We've got some little butterflies and a little swirly. Just things like that. Just a, a little bit. Not much. Some more butterflies at the back there. Um, and that's it. So there we go. So thanks very much for, <laughs> if you stuck with me this far, thank you very much. Um, I don't know how people like Gail and Wendy and Tracy and all those lovely ladies out there, how they can do an hour long video of a, you know, craft with me or tutorial or what have you. Um, I've said that before. It's, it's, uh, it's not really my thing, but I wanted to give it a try and you only get better when you practice, right? So, um, be gentle if you leave a comment, please. <laughs> um, and I hope you enjoyed this project and it gives you some ideas on what to do with your own junk mail. And um, I'll be back soon because I still have some really fun um, ideas for other junk mail and um, for some junk journals as well. So have a great day. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you back soon hopefully. Bye bye.